Okay, so here it is, the NASA Multirotor V2 GPS. I just picked it up from Century Helicopters on my way home from work. This will be a quick box opening video, uh, and then I'll have to install it and we'll do some test flights. But I just wanted to show it to you. The GPS is right here on top. This is different than the other setups. If you've got the NASA M, that usually comes, the version 1 usually comes in a separate box. But the GPS is right here in the package. Uh, there's the standoff. Looks about the same as on version 2. There's the GPS unit. So in the main box, here's the new NASA. Whoops. Well, looks pretty similar, except that it's a different color. Interesting, from the photographs online, I thought it would be black, but it's sort of a translucent black. I don't know if you can tell on the videos. In the rest of the box, There's the, looks like the LED. Yep, there's the remote LED, which still has the UPS port in it. the bag of uh, three-wire RC connectors and some 3M tape. This looks like the new power management unit. So interesting, the power management unit has hard wires to solder to the battery, plug for the GPS. So the wire labeled VSEN should connect to the X3 port on the NASA main unit, and the wire labeled EXP connects to the EXP port on the NASA main unit. And then it's got an extra port for accessories. And last we have a USB cable. You can never have enough of these. So that's it. That's the whole system. I'll get it put together and we'll do some test flights.